Hello everyone, hello Horsey. Uh, I am Ashwiner15 and today I want to tell you about Minecraft Ultra Hardcore Mode or UHC. Um, if you really like the adventure aspect of Minecraft um, or feel that the regular game has become too easy for you or you want a new way to play with or against your friends then this is a great game mode for you. Uh, there are a few different um, game modes that you can play within the large UHC umbrella and I'll explain those uh, in a second. Um, but first there are three um, core uh, rules that apply to all uh, of the different ways to play uh, UHC. Um, the first one is very simply um, go into options and set the game to hard mode. I've already done that here. You can also lock it so that you don't accidentally switch it back. Um, but that's how you set it to hard mode here. Um, the second core rule uh, for all the UHC is that uh, natural health regeneration is turned off. So what that normally means uh, when um, you're out playing Minecraft and you take uh, damage and lose hearts, um, if your hunger bar is full, as mine mostly is here, um, then you know that'll automatically start uh, replenishing your health until the hunger bar gets too low and it won't do that anymore. Um, so we turn this off for ultra hardcore mode, um, and I will demonstrate how to do that and what that looks like here. Um, in order to use some of the special commands that you need to set up a UHC, um, you can uh, enable these commands uh, by again going into the pause menu, and then you're going to hit this uh, open to land button to set things up. I've already done it here, but you would click that, and then on the right, will be a um, an allow cheats option. Uh, click that, it'll be set to on, and then the lower left you'll click um, uh, innate, start play land world or start land world. Um, and that's how you're able to open up these cheats. So if you're trying to use the commands and it's not working, this is probably why. All right, so in order to turn off uh, natural health regeneration, uh, you're gonna use the commode game rule natural regeneration false all right is turned off now so then i'm going to go fly up in the air which should about do it and then i'm going to put myself into survival mode while i'm in the air so that'll automatically make me fall to the ground and i will take fall damage and then you will see that my health will not regenerate ouch so my hunger bar is mostly full, so if I had two or more that were empty, I wouldn't regain health. Uh, but since I have half, I should be regaining health if I was to keep natural health regen um, on. But since I am not, as we can see, uh, I still am down the two hearts from taking that fall damage. So you might be wondering, well, skeletons are pretty nasty. That's pretty brutal. Is there no way to regenerate health in UHC at all? Uh, the answer is that there are two ways. Um, one is by eating a golden apple. Um, apples fall from oak trees, and then you need eight gold. Uh, put them, the eight gold ingots around the apple and the crafting table. You can make uh, a golden apple, um, and then uh, that will recover two hearts and give you two temporary hearts of like shield, like extra health, uh, but permanently only revives two hearts. Um, and then the other option is to make health potions. Um, but that requires going to the nether um, and braving a nether fortress uh, which and you need uh, to kill blazes or get blaze powder to power your brewing stand um, which is fairly dangerous um, so health is very much at a premium in this game mode that is the point um, and as you might imagine with skeletons or just any like easy like misstep Oh, I didn't quite miss up there to take fall damage. But you can imagine as you're running around and sprinting, uh, I'm sure you've done it in Minecraft a bunch of times. It's not easy. It's fairly easy to just think you have, you know, it's not as steep of a cliff as it is, and then you end up falling uh, and taking fall damage. Um, so health is at a premium, and that makes everything super important. Caving. You know, every skeleton, every, you know, misstep, be careful where you're walking. Um, uh, every, everything is super important because 
Uh, health is very much at a premium in this game mode. And the third and final um, core game rule to all UHCs is that you get one life. You die, that's it. Game over. Whatever you're doing in this world, um, when you're playing in UHC mode, um, you can't come back and uh, pick it up again with a new life. Um, that's it. Whatever you're trying to do, you got to start up a whole new world and start from scratch. Um, so between that and your life being precious in that you only get one, and health being at a premium because um, the health regen is turned off, um, you know, everything is very intense and very important. Um, right When you're caving, highly recommend to make sure that you block off extra arms of the cave that you're not exploring so you don't get sniped from behind. Look overhead in case there's like an overhang in the cave because if a creeper just like drops down from it on top of you, that's it. Game over. It's happened to me multiple times. <laughs> Um, and it is a common phenomenon to uh, be afraid of your own shadow when playing a UHC. It's very intense. It's very exciting. Um, you got to be locked in because um, a simple mistake could cost you dearly. Um, so as I've referred to before, um, there are three game modes within the umbrella that is UHC. So the first one um, is uh, just normal survival mode. So this would be pulling up a single player world that so I have done here. Um, and playing the game as you would normally, um, building up a base, exploring, do whatever you like to do in Minecraft, but you have UHC rules turned on, um, maybe you want to get, make the game harder or more intense. Um, I personally don't like this because um, it would seem very depressing to me to like work on you know villages or big buildings uh, and spend a lot of time into it, and then the prospect of at any moment you know, it's over, and then I have to give up on this world. Um, it's kind of a little, little much, a little depressing for me. Um, but if you, uh, if that sounds interesting to you, hey, you do you, boo. Um, the second uh, way to do uh, Minecraft UHC is uh, a competitive PvP style. Um, so Minecraft actually started Battle Royale before Fortnite, uh, and I believe before PUBG. Um, so you would get you and your friends, and you could either do it solos, or you could split off into teams. Um, and you would get you would designate a you know an arena, usually like uh, 1600 by 1600 square, and you would all get teleported to different parts of the map, and you could, of course start off with nothing. And you know you would try and gear up and fight each other uh, to be the last one standing and to win. Um, there are also there's also a way to create a world border around whatever you designate as the um, you know as the arena and it can close in over a set amount of time to a single point to force everyone to the middle and you know make a game last a specific amount of time uh, and the third way to play UHC um, you can do it solo or cooperatively um, give a bunch of your friends uh, and team up is a dragon UHC in which, of course, again, you start from nothing. Um, you go caving and exploring to try and uh, get as best uh, gear as you can or dare to get. Um, and then you go to the end and try and kill the dragon. Um, I've tried this several times, and it is very, very difficult, or at least it definitely is solo. Um, it's probably um, quite a bit easier uh, with a group of friends. Uh, but either way, it's super fun in and of its own self. Um, and it's also a great way, you can just boot it up and do it in a single player world pretty easily, um, and, you know, it's, it makes for great practice, uh, for, say, competitive, uh, PvP, uh, UHC. You know, I never noticed the guy's arms just kind of sway side to side, like, in to out, like a pendulum. Huh, that's strange. <laughs> anyway, uh, never noticed that before. But that was a bit about, um, you know, how, what UHC is and uh, the different kinds of game modes you can do within UHC. Um, super fun and intense game mode uh, that I personally enjoy very much and highly recommend. Please drop uh, a subscribe to my channel and you can catch more of these Minecraft um, how-to videos. I have a couple more planned um, how to set up a Dragon UHC one so that you can just hop in a single player world and try it out for yourself as well as uh, what to do on the first day, uh, because with health at a premium, uh, you're definitely going to, and you only get one life, so 
you die, that's it. So you definitely need to get underground uh, on, before night falls, um, or you're definitely going to die. Uh, so that makes the first day you know, very important to make sure you get all the right stuff before you're forced underground. So yeah, drop a subscription, and uh, you can catch out some of those videos. Uh, once again, I'm Ashwinder15. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.